Shalom, shalom, Israel, or Yasha Allah. This is your boy, Yehuda Ben Yasha Allah, or the Ghost of Judah Tribe on YouTube. Thank you for following me on this uh, on this this thing that I have here for the Book of Jasher, man. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. We're going to continue in Chapter Ten. We was on verse eighteen. Remember last uh, the last video we left off with. Uh, Abraham serving Allah, serving the moon God, right? The God of the moon. So let's continue with verse 18 where we left off. And in the morning when it was light and the sun shone upon the earth as usual, Abram saw all the things that Ahiah had made upon earth. See? See, A see Father Abraham knew. He created the sun. He created the moon. He created the stars. He created the earth. He created everything that you see he created. That's why when you, you want to worship the sun or the moon, water, whatever, you, you worship something that was created. Why would you worship something that's created? Worship the creator, not the created. All right. And in the morning, all right, and Abram said unto himself, Surely these are not gods that made the earth and all mankind, but these are the servants of a higher See, the sun, it does what it's told to do every single day. It does the same thing. Plants, same thing. Moon, same thing. Stars, same thing. Water, same thing. It's what it's its properties is what it does it's what it was created for and Abra remained in the house of Noah and knew and there knew Ahiah and his ways and he served Ahiah all the days of his life and all that generation forgot Ahiah and served other gods of wood and stone and rebuilt all their days and King Nimrod reigned securely, and all the earth was under his control. And all the earth was of one tongue and words of union. That's in Genesis 11, verse 1. King Nimrod had control of everything. The whole entire world, continents, it was King Nimrod. And all the princes of Nimrod and his great men took counsel together. Put, Mitzrayim, Cush, and Canaan with their families. And they said to each other, Come, let us build ourselves a city, and in it a strong tower, and its top reaching heaven. And we will make ourselves famed so that we may reign upon the whole world in order that the evil of our enemies may cease from us, that we may reign mightily over them, and that we may not become scattered over the earth on account of their wars. Okay. Now, Nimrod has this plan. Remember, they're in the Valley of Shinar, or Babylon. They're in the Valley of Shinar, over there in Iraq. They're in the Valley of Shinar. And here's all King Nimrod's counselors and mighty men and all that. And they're talking about building a tower to reach the heavens. He's going to reign securely and no one... Is, and no one would be able to touch him, period. Folks, I'm going to tell you what they are building here. They are building what we call a stargate. When you, when, you, when you continue to read this right here, you're going to see that what the Tower of Babel was, was a stargate. All right. And they all went before the king, and they told the king these words. 
and the king agreed with them in this affair, and he did so. And all the families assembled, consisting of about 600,000 men, and they went to seek an extensive piece of ground to build the city and the tower. And they sought in the whole earth, and they found none like one valley at the east of the land of Shinar, about two days' walk, and they journeyed there, and they dwelt there. Okay, this is in Genesis chapter, the beginning of Genesis chapter 11, okay? Verse 3 and 4. This is what they're doing. This is their plot. Now they're figuring out a piece of land where they can do this, okay? And they began to make bricks and burn fires to build the city and the tower that they had imagined to complete. They imagined to take this tower to the heavens, past the clouds, to the heavens, and you're going to see what they built. This You're going to see the evil, the wickedness of what they were doing in this tower. And the building of the tower was unto them a transgression and a sin. And they began to build it. And whilst they were building against a against a higher of heaven they imagine in their hearts to war against him and to ascend into heaven see that do you see that now you see there's a re I, I, I reiterate this. There is a reason why Trump made this space force because there is something above this earth. There's something above the, above the firmament. There is something above it. This is what see they had this knowledge that the fallen ones had given to them about the heavens because they had been there, remember? The fallen ones were there once. So the information that they had to building this tower, this stargate to get into the heavens, the fallen ones had given them this information. And they were going to war against the Most High Himself. Now the strat now, now see here's the thing. See, they have evidently they know about the most high. They know about the most high, but they wanted to serve their own gods. But they do know about the most high because they want to war against the most high. Complete transgression, and we're gonna see what happens. And all the peoples and all the families divided themselves in three parts. Check this out. Three parts. The first said, we will ascend into heaven and fight against him. They were going to ascend into heaven and fight against the Most High himself through this stargate. They were going to find a way to break through this firmament. And fight the Most High Himself. The second said, We will ascend to heaven and place our own gods there and serve them. So, all these gods that they have been making, that they have been serving, they was going to replace pretty much those fallen ones with the Most High right there. That's what they were trying to do. That's the second group. First group was going to create the war against. They was going to have a fight above the firmament. Second one was going to replace. Once they killed the gods, once they killed the gods, they were going to replace them with their own gods. And the third part said, we will ascend to heaven and smite him with bows and spears and the Most High knew all their works and all their evil thoughts 
and he saw the city and the tower which they were building. Now think about it. This isn't bows and arrows. This isn't spear. This was a technology. You can't use bows and arrows and spears against the technology the most high. Somehow they had the technology to fight from the fallen ones who had given that given them. If you read the book of Enoch, it tells you how they taught antimony. I mean how they taught uh alchemy, how they taught war, how they taught this, those type of things. That information, that knowledge was given from the fallen ones to really to women first and then to man. How to create war, how to create weapons of war, how to do that was the information that Nimrod had access to. And when they were building, they built themselves a great city and a very high and strong tower. And on account of its height, the mortar and bricks did not reach the builders in their ascent to it. Until those who went up had completed a full year. And after that, they reached to the builders and gave them the mortar and the bricks. Thus was it done daily. 24 hours, seven days a week, the focus was to build this tower. And that's exactly what they were doing. In the Valley of Shinar, they was building this tower. And the whole purpose of the tower was to attack, go through the firmament, through this stargate that they was going to build and attack the Most High. And behold, these ascended and others descended the whole day. And if a brick should fall from their hands and get broken, they would all weep. They would cry like, oh, man, come on. We can't waste this. And if a man fell and died, none of them would look at him. They, they wouldn't even care. The brick is more important than the man. We have an agenda. We are going to be gods. That was their agenda. We are going to be regard. We are going to replace the gods. We're going to war with the gods. We're going to replace the gods. And if you if we have some kind of casualty along the way, then so be it. And Ahia knew their thoughts. And it came to pass. When they were building, they cast the arrows toward the heavens. Do you think these were regular bow and arrows? No. You think you can fight the most high with bow and arrows? No. These words, highly sophisticated weapons of war against the most high when you see these ufos and stuff and that the u.s navy and arm they, they can't see how these things are working this is the technology nimrod had and it was given to him from the fallen ones and they cast the arrows toward the head What do you see? The, the answer. answer. Thank you for letting me in. Always the same. And now all this. No more stones. No more spears. No more slings. No more swords. No more weapons! No more systems! No more! No more superpowers. So much faith in there. Tools in there. Machines. You can fire your arrows from the Tower of Babel! But you can never strike gold!
heavens and all the arrows fell upon them filled with blood pew, pew. you ever seen the movie stargate they they sent the uh they sent the uh nuclear weapon over there to detonate it to bomb the gods that's where they got the movie stargate from that's that's from this that's from this book and when they saw them, so they shot these weapons up into the firmament or whatever, just like they did with uh, Operation, um, uh, gosh, I can't forget it. You know, my flat earthers know Operation, uh, when they were shooting the nukes into the, trying to shoot into the firmament, I forgot. But um, all right, so. And all the arrows fell upon him filled with blood. Filled with blood. Blood? Spiritual beings filled with blood? Uh, let's see what's happening here. And when they saw them, they said to uh, they said to each other, Surely we have slain all those that are in heaven. What is up there? There is something up there. There is something up there in the heavens. There is something right above us, right above the firmament. There is something up there. For this was from Ahia in order to cause them to err and in order to destroy them from off the face of the ground. So the Most High is causing delusion. He's causing delusion among the people. They think they're doing something with these weapons, but the Most High is tricking them to thinking that they're doing something. Man, this is fantastic, folks. I know you've never heard this story before about the whole story of Babel, but this is it right in the book of Jasher. It tells you exactly, exactly what they made this tower for. I'll get at you on the next video. Shalom, shalom, shalom. same and now all this no more stones no more spears no more slings no more swords no more weapons no more systems no more no more superpowers Can never strike God!